Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's Saturday. So it is time for my weekly roundup. What is this weekly roundup? Well, this is where I go through any FOs I have, finished objects, or works in progress, whips that I've been working on this week. I basically go through my week in crafting. Sometimes we talk about other stuff. I'm gonna be honest, I did not read my book this week. And that happens sometimes, it happens. And I've got a couple of other things to talk about. So I guess let's just hop in. I have three finished objects and I'm going to share two works in progress. And that's that. <laughs> For my first finished object, I have been doing an event with my local yarn shop, Yarn Junction in West Des Moines, Iowa. They do have an online shop. If you search them online, you should find it. They have an event where they're doing 23 hats in 23. So if you make 23 hats in the year 2023 and Basically, you could you just have to go in and you show them. So you either bring the hat or you can show them a picture of the hats that you've made. And they will give you at the end when you've completed your 23, a hank of Madeline Tosh yarn. Pretty amazing. The caveat is it has to be yarn, hats made with yarn you purchased in their store. And it is making me explore so many more yarns like I'm I want to try different things to make these hats because a hat is a perfect project to try a new yarn with right so I did finish a hat and I am so sorry I just made this hat and I totally forgot to show you the cake of yarn that I bought oh I took it down to the closet okay so the first hats I made were using a juniper moon farm cumulus yarn called dappled it is so soft it is cotton it is amazing and right next to that in the store, they had another cumulus yarn and they were these beautiful cakes. And I was like, oh, I want to make that, but I have to have the project in mind. Like the ombres, there was both ombre and gradient. I got an ombre cake and oh, it's gorgeous. So this yarn is called Juniper Moon Farm Cumulus and it's, I'm guessing this is French Degrade. And it is the same content. So it's the Israeli Mako cotton and a touch of nylon for strength. So it's 94% cotton, 6% nylon. It's 100 gram hank, 3.52 ounces, 251 yards, 229 meters. It's a medium four weight. Um, the colorway I got was 411 Wisteria Park. It's beautiful shades of purple. And... Um, uh, I would say for knitting needles, they want a US 7 through 9, so a 4.5 to 5.5 needles for crochet hooks, an I through a K, so 5.5 to 6.5 millimeter crochet hooks. And at the end of last week, I was asking people, no, it wasn't the end of last week. Anyway, I'm always asking for hat patterns that you like. And someone said the divine hat. I was like, that has been on my list forever. And I have the funniest story because I saw this yarn and I said, no, I'm not gonna buy it. I mean, it was pricey. It was $25.95 for the cake. And I didn't wanna buy it until I knew what I wanted to make with it. So I knew I had enough. You know, sometimes I'm not sure if it's a yarn eater or not. So I was driving home and inspiration struck. I was like five minutes away from the store and I was like, the divine hat, that would be perfect. And then the person mentioned the divine hat and I was like, oh my God, yes, of course I'm making that. So I did. I made the divine hat using that um, cumulus degrade. And look at how pretty that is. The color, the fade is just gorgeous. And they did have some that was more gradient that had different colors together. And I would love to get and try one of those as well. So for this one, um, I printed out the pattern. It is free on Ravelry, I believe. Um, but Fiber Spider also has an excellent tutorial and I love Craig's tutorials so much. So I had the pattern and then I also watched Fiber Spider and this is using the hooks suggested and everything. It is massive. It is so big. Um, I'm going to keep it because I like kind of the slouch and it actually covers my ears very nicely and I can fit my ponytail in there. It's all good. Um, so this is going to be a great hat for me and I am so excited for it. But I was very curious about going down needle sizes or hook sizes. 
So I made another one. Tomorrow I'm going to put out a video that is showing the yarn I bought from Joann's The New Yarn. And one of them, the Big Twist Ombre, has been sitting here and I wanted to see how it worked up. Um, Bingo picked out all the colors. This one is purple ombre. It's kind of a violet. It's a very pretty orchidy purple. So I made another one and I went down. So this one calls for a, where are you? There you are. Is it a 6.5? So you do a J hook for the body and an H hook for the ribbing. So on this one, I used an I hook for the body and I went down, I G hook, yeah, a G hook, a five, 4.5. So I used a 5.5 and a 4.5 because this is a 6.5 and a 5.5 in the pattern. So I did, wait, did I do? I might have messed that up and gone too small. Anyway, I used smaller hooks. It turned out much better. It's not as slouchy. And the yarn, the, um, the Big Twist yarn, in my opinion, is a bit thinner than the Cumulus yarn was. So there we go. I made two. And I really do love how this worked up. I love the color play. Um, yeah, I think it's so pretty. The, like, to me, I'm not sure the color changes are equal but I don't know. I'm not sure. You might have to work it up on like an Addy or in a scarf, something that's more consistent. Um, cause here like the dark part is mostly at the crown and then it comes back and it does like two, it does two rows, almost two rows. So right here, you don't have two shells for those last two sections, but, um, yeah, so I'm not sure. But it is, this is so soft. I'm very impressed. It was, I know the Big Twist value can be a bit splitty. This was not splitty at all. It was so much softer. This is very nice. I, I really like this. Um, the yarn and the hat. <laughs> so the other thing I completed is another scrunchie. So I had some of the Cumulus yarn left over. So I thought I'd experiment with a scrunchie. And here it is. So this is how light that yarn would go out. And so it goes to almost a white, almost, it's definitely like a winter white. It has a hint of purple or gray in it, but that's so pretty. This is just, um, double crochet. I did double crochet, half double crochet. And then I just did a little Pico border on the edge to make a cute little scrunchie. This is so, so soft. I still have a bit more of that yarn left. It might be enough to make another small scrunchie. I'm not sure, but yeah, I have to take this hat down to the local yarn shop and get that on my list. I'm excited. It's been a fun adventure. I'm really enjoying it. I'm glad. Other project I worked on was of course my sock. I've been making a strawberry sock for chomps. And this was the project I had with me in the hospital while he's having his surgery. So it got a little extra love. He wanted strawberry socks and he picked out the Premier Fruits strawberry to do that with. He wanted a taller sock. So I made that. I am working on the heel flap right now. So I've made the cuff. I've made the leg portion. Doing heel flap right now. So this is coming along very, very nicely. It's so cute. It was so fun. So the funny thing was I was sitting in the waiting area knitting away on this and a woman walked up and she was like, oh, what are you making? I was like, oh, it's a sock. And she said, oh, for a human? <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, for my son. <laughs> She's like, oh, well, I didn't know if you could make it for my dog. <laughs> and all I could think of was how small that sock would have to be. Um, but I said, oh, I'm sure it's possible, but this is, I'm still pretty new at sock knitting and I'm not sure I would be ready for that yet. <laughs> but for her immediate reaction to me, for a human? <laughs> I, it just made me giggle. Um, so yeah, I'm working away on that. On that I am using, um, I'm not using my Chowgu nine and a half circulars. I am using my Queen's Crafts by Bridget sock bag. 
and I am using my Clover Takumi nine inch circulars in size two. That's a bamboo needle. And I am following, following the free sock pattern from Premier that comes up. It's like kids socks. What's it called? Kids knit socks. It literally comes up when you look at this yarn on Premier.com. So I'm using that pattern free. It seems to be working very nicely. It is very, 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 very similar to the Crazy Sock Ladies Vanilla Sock Pattern. So if you are familiar with that, this, this will be very, very familiar terminology to you. The pattern does ask for DPNs. I started with my DPNs, but my DPNs are stainless steel chow goos, and they were just slipping right out of the yarn because the yarn is so soft and sleek. So I thought, oh, I'll just try them on some nine inch circs and see, and they work wonderfully. I mean, I was looking closer at the pattern and this pattern is really just six stitches smaller than the socks I make for my own feet. <laughs> so I figured they would fit on the needles, but you never know. Um, but yes, it's going much more quickly now that I've got them off the needles and they're not falling out of my, off of the DPN, so double pointed needles, so it's not falling out. I'm not struggling with that. Okay, so the final project I'm going to show today is my Pink Lady shawl. This is the shawl I'm making as one of the prizes for the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight this month. I had meant to do a recap video last week and I didn't. I'm sorry. Um, so I'll do a recap at some point here. Um, there's always a bump when I do a recap, so I want to be sure I get the word out. But so many people have been so kind in getting the word out this month, and I appreciate it so much. I so much. I watched Sam from Manfla's Makes yesterday, and honey, there's there's no reason to apologize. Every there's so much going up on YouTube, and I forget things left and right. I you can't worry about it. I was my feelings were not impacted in any way, and I just love seeing people get excited by the idea and sharing it. And if I know a number of people make things and then forget to send me pictures and at the end of the month, they're like, oh my God, I sent a picture. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but like, that's where, when I feel bad. But other than that, I don't feel bad. And there, I just feel bad for the person because you did the effort and didn't get into the giveaway. But then they always say, well, I had fun making it anyway. So that's the whole point, just having fun. Everything else is a bonus, right? Okay, so anyway, I am making the Pink Lady Shawl. It is a free tutorial on OM Granny Square's YouTube channel. Um, uh, it's Ursula. I am using my Susan Bates, is this the five? I'm playing trombone here. Five millimeter crochet hook. And um, the yarn I'm using is the Lion Brand Ice Cream Big Scoop in Cookies and Cream. And here is my progress. And I did go to Joanne's. I, I mean, I am making good progress here. I am not um, making it as large as Ursula makes hers. She intentionally makes a very large um, oversized shawl. I'm basically going to work until I either A, run out of yarn or B, hold it up and say, Yep, that's a good size. And to me, my wingspan, if it reaches my wingspan, I'm stopping. Because I'm, I know I'm a taller person. I'm 5'8". So if it reaches my wingspan, I know it's going to be a good size shawl for everyone. <laughs> It'll be a shanklet, as some people called the um, what I made for TL Yarn Crafts. Uh, but this is so fun. And I adore how the edging is working out. So I had mentioned last week that I wanted to just work and not worry about preserving yarn for the border or anything and just make up a, a white border around it so bingo and i were out and about and we had lunch and across the street is the tiny little joann's in town and it's the one that really never has anything so i was like i don't know but let's run in since we're here and they did they had one skein of white big twist shine on clearance and everything rang up at 50 cents less than the tag. So I paid like $2.49 for it. And it is going to be, I think, a perfect trim on this. You know, I, th I think it'll be great. It was like, oh, a moment. Everything was in lining for us. And we also, I went back just curious to see if they had any of the new yarn. They didn't have any of the new Big Twist. But this little itty bee store that never gets the new yarn did have 
the Halo Colorama cakes. The new cakes were there. So there is hope if you have a small Joann's that maybe you will get the beautiful Halo cakes. Don't despair. You might get them. Um, okay, so that's what I have in projects. Everything else kind of sat this week. I did work. <laughs> God, my things were making Thursday. So I'm going to have a funny story to share with you this week on that one. <laughs> um, I did a miscalculation, a little oopsie. Um, but other than that, what I would like to do is here, um, Samantha Stewart. Oh, is that my, those are my hats making a funny thing in the corner. Samantha Stewart has been sending me pictures and I feel awful because I forgot last week to include them. So I am going to include her picture here of her finished objects. And I am very happy to share pictures. I don't have a dedicated segment or anything or a name, but if you want to send me pictures, I, I'm happy to share. I'm happy to share and shout out. And I also realized I had forgotten to shout out Connie from Just Another Stitch had a pattern sale that ended yesterday. Sorry, Connie. But I do want to share that Connie is having a weight loss health journey on her channel and she's sharing it with everyone and she is inviting people to join in with her. So please go check her out if you are interested to join that journey. I mean, it's something that I think is important to all crafters because crafting is kind of a sedentary thing. I mean, sometimes you'll see joke videos of someone sitting on there on like a recline bike or something, an incumbent bike, recumbent, recumbent bike like knitting or crocheting away but you know it is something we need to think about um so yes i am so happy that connie is taking that back into her control and sharing her journey with us i love it the other thing i want to share is sam from memphis makes is trying to get her 1500 milestone her son um made a purchase from hobby and they are planning on giving away that purchase and he would very much like to do the drawing and she is very very close to the milestone so if you don't know her if you're not a member of her channel please go i guess not a member of her channel because that has a whole different meaning but if you are not subscribed to her please go go check her out i know we're not supposed to use the s word but ah uh. It's what you're supposed to do. And throwing yarn sounds dangerous. And I mean, Sam yesterday was throwing windows. Throwing windows at people's windows. What's going on? <laughs> um, I actually did have a giggle when I heard her say it. And then when Mike called it out, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> the little slips of the tongue make everything more fun. Um, so what else do I have going on? Um, so tomorrow I'm going to post a video with the Joann's yarn I purchased, kind of going through. Um, I bought a small amount just to show because I did the walkthrough of the store with Bingo. But stick to the end of that. There's a wink wink surprise at the end. And I had a while ago purchased some of the new yarns from Michael's and had meant to show it, but I put it away. And which is shocking because if you saw the mess that is off camera here, you'd be like, what? You put something away? It doesn't look like it. But I did. <laughs> but I had set some yarn aside to give away when I showed it. So there is some Michael's yarn thrown in at the end there because we're giving it away. It's meant to be given away. Let's give it away. So yeah, check out the video tomorrow if you're interested in some of that. And then on Monday, I am going to try to come on and do the recap for the Crafting Kitty Creator Spotlight. On Tuesday, go back and check out Bingo's Birthday Bash. Something's happened on Tuesday for that. And then on the 21st, I'll be back with an opening of something. Let's be honest, there's always something here to show. <laughs> um, and then Thursday, we've got the things we're making Thursday. Friday, we'll be back with Fridays with Fred. And then Fingers crossed, everything goes good, and we will have a poor decision. Thank you, thank you so much for everyone's kind words and compassion. We were just, <laughs> we needed to rest, and thank you for, for understanding and appreciating that. We appreciate it so much. And then we'll be back on Saturday for another weekly roundup. 
Whoa. The other thing, I got my package from Miss Colleen. So Colleen and I are continuing to do our Between Friends collaboration. This is my package from her. And I believe she said she got mine, but I'm going to be honest, I have not been watching a lot of videos this week and I didn't get to Colleen's channel to see if she has posted hers. But I'm going to open my package because we pretty much have an agreement that open it when you get it. There's no reason to wait on the other person. This is all just for fun. Um, so let's see what Colleen created. It's going to be fabulous. You know it is because it came from Colleen. So this, oh, this is fabulous. Okay, so this uh, month, June, we wanted to do something summery. So we did bucket hats and she made a, I love this yarn. So I love this yarn. This is like my favorite line brand comfy cotton. There's a card here and I'm like talking about the, uh, the hat before even opening the card. It's not how you do things. And I have to apologize. When I send packages, I nine times out of ten forget the um, the notes I write. Oh, so this is Colleen's take on a bun bucket hat, free-handed and designed June 2023 for Between Friends. Happy June. <laughs> she says she hopes this hat finds you and your family of gardeners well. We are, we are in good spirits. We're doing well. Chomps is doing well. Um, I designed this with a bun or ponytail in mind. Thank you. That is one of my major struggles with hats. And I just, I don't know why I don't think to make myself the bun and the hats, but I don't. So thank you. Yeah. And she used Lion Brand Cotton Blend, Comfy Cotton Blend in Chai Latte. I love this yarn. I got a bunch from a mystery box. I was so excited. I've used this to make, um the lavender cardigan from Melissa Crochets with Love. I adore this yarn. It is so great. Um, she wants feedback as well because she's thinking of, of using this as a tutorial. Do it! I think a bun bucket hat is brilliant. <laughs> Let's use as many bees. So I do have a large head. So we're trying it on live on camera. And I do happen to have a ponytail. So let's pull this ponytail through. I like to double under my ponytails. So let's do it. Oh, that is a fun. Oh, that's a nice beanie. And you know what? This. So I have a high ponytail. So right now that's causing a little bit of buckling there. But if I move that ponytail a little differently on my head this would be perfect let me see nope it's all the same i wasn't sure if maybe if it was circular or if there was like pants like a little give put in there but not really i think this is a great hat i love the detail of the little mesh mesh change right there this is so great colleen I love it. Um, so yeah, I think it's great. Like I said, I pull my I'd have to move my ponytail to get it just centered properly, and I have a large head, but yeah, I think that's a good beanie. I can just tuck it under my ears there. Look at that! Of course, I'd have to scooch that in. Here's a mess I've been putting on and off hats all day. Oh, yes. Look at that. And certainly with any of these hats, like I think if I made this for myself, I would probably make it a touch longer. But that is a super easy change. Anybody make following a hat tutorial can do themselves. So, yeah, I think I think this is a fantastic. Nice. Thank you, Colleen. I love it. I'm going to have to keep it from little Bingo's paws. She looks at everything and says, oh, for me? Lady, not everything can be for Bingo. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you, Colleen. I love it. And I hope you enjoyed what I had sent you as well. Oh, this is a fun collaboration. I am so glad 
you are feeling better and you are back in the game and we can do this again. I enjoy it. Okay, I think that's about all I have for today. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay. <laughs>